Hi, in this video we're going to give you a quick overview of how to add columns to a Microsoft Word document. So normally when you type your Word document, you know, it goes across the whole page, but if you want to do like a column layout for brochures, you could set up some columns. So to do that, you want to go to the Layout tab, and then to Columns, and then you want to pick your column length, one, two, or three. If you do one, it's pretty much like not having columns. So let's say we do three. So now you can see these are the column breaks here, or column width, I guess you could say. And if you don't have the ruler, you could go to the View tab and check Ruler. So once we start typing, you can see it stays within the column width there, and it's going to keep going until it fills the page there. So if you want to end it, so let's say you're going to start a new section. So let me add a little more text here first. And what you could do is insert a column break which is under the same layout sections, and then you choose column, and then we'll bring it over to the next one. And so on. So that's how you add your columns for a new document. So let's say you have an existing document. So we have this one here, and I want to convert this information into columns, so you simply just, you just highlight it, and do the same thing from the layout and choose your columns. Let's, let's go with three again. I just do two this time. And now you can see it put it into two different columns and it broke it up on the page there. So if you want to insert a page break again, so let's say we want to end it right here. And then it'll end it there and start the information over here. So that's how you could kind of separate your information as well if you want to keep it into individual columns. So once again, layout menu columns, choose your columns, and there's also more columns if you want to, you know, really customize the uh, width and the spacing and keep it equal and all that other good stuff. So you can play around with that as needed, but this is just a quick overview of how to uh, add some columns to Word really quickly. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.